See this sort of triangular area here? Let's turn it into a pollinator bed. So I've really wanted to add a lot of wildflowers to my whole garden area for, for quite some time. Be friendly, but I just haven't really got around to it. Or plant some and I put them in, which is nice, and I have those annuals in the garden, but I'm really interested in creating a more uh, perennial area where I just have repeating pollinator flowers. All right, what's in here? It says, uh, contains, is that even in English? Now I had a space that I really wanted to do this in, but the problem was that it was really overgrown with like grasses and ground cover that were added by the previous owners. And you know, I'm sure at first they look nice having these little spotted things of, I don't know, lemon flavored shit grass and I don't know. They just spread, they spread and they spread and they spread. They've overtaken the the patio stones that go up and everywhere. So anyways, what I did yesterday was I spent a few hours. Yesterday I cleaned all the weeds out of here. I just had a bunch of uh, various grasses that had built up over probably a decade of negligence to some degree, ripping everything out. And I tried to do it uh, as gentle as possible because you might recall that I had also planted a bunch of tulips in that area. Hey, believe it or not, there's a boot in this photo. I was more concerned with the vegetables in the back rather than anything over here. So it's already a little bit of an experimental area, but I got rid of all these grasses. I dug as much of the root systems out as possible without disturbing my tulips and other, you know, bulbs that I planted in there. Let's add some wildflowers. Calendula, Centuria, Chrysanthemum, Tinctoria, Cosmos, you know, Glossum, Amabile, Delphinium consoldia. I think I'm reading the back of a Twinkie. Also has Dinthus barbatus. That's like a Roman centurion right there. Digitalis purpurea. Echinacea, finally, something I know. Cermium alioni. Cerium cheriri. Escherolisia. Gisophilia. Linium grandifolium. Linium premium. Linium. Is that? I don't know. And I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna try. So it's got nice freshly dug soil there, which is already great, it's already loose. Now we're just gonna add a little bit more potting mix. Wildflower all-purpose garden mix stuff. Create a spectacular garden of popular wildflowers in various popular wildflowers. I've never heard of an idea of these fuckers. Ah. Anyways, mix her up. Now, normally I would really want to water this because everything about it is telling me that it's a bad idea to just spread it about. But I'm the king of bad ideas. I've just been grabbing this mix. It's all potting soil and seeds and just kind of uh, gently as possible spreading it out. So that I theoretically am getting a mix of various flowers uh, inside my bed. I'm not going very far uh, each time because again, it is so windy. So I do about a meter or so and then give it a little, a little, a little bit of water. Just to, well, obviously start that kind of germination hope, but uh, more importantly right now, hold it in place. Now, of course, this has obvious desired effects in that it'll bring more butterflies, more bees, more other, you know, moths and whatnot to the garden. But I have another reason for doing this. And one of the reasons is this is one of the areas where I've had to work the hardest to get rid of garlic mustard. Now, this is an area that I haven't worked on yet. This is an area that I have. As more perennial flowers get a hold in here and create their root systems, and as I'm pulling out garlic mustard, eventually they won't have a leg to stand on in that the flowers that I want in this bed are gonna be strong enough that the garlic mustard doesn't really take off. That's the hope. That we won't really find out if I've been successful until like next year or the year after type thing. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you're not dirty, you're not dirty. I mean, I'm not wrong by saying that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.